This is Katmai National Park, a true showcase of Alaska's unique and diverse natural beauty. And in this video, we're going to go on an adventure to one of the most iconic places within this park, Brooks Falls. But before that, I'm going to share all the obstacles that almost got in the way of this once-in-a-lifetime trip. I eagerly arrive at Orlando International Airport to board a plane to Seattle, the first big trek on my journey, where I meet my first obstacle, a two-hour delay, followed by another two-hour delay. These delays inevitably make me miss my connecting flight from Seattle to Anchorage, and my flight from Anchorage to King Salmon, Alaska. With all the delayed flights and cancellations, I scramble with the help of my wife, Chelsea, to try and find a new way of getting to Alaska. After an entire day of effort, we are able to find a connecting flight in Salt Lake City that will get me to Seattle and then to Anchorage, Alaska. Unfortunately, I would not make it to Seattle this night as my connecting flight left early, despite myself and several other passengers being booked on that flight. Now stranded in Salt Lake City, I try to get a few hours of sleep using the hotel voucher they gave me for my 16 hour travel day to try and get a few hours sleep before heading to the airport early the next morning to get on a wait list to get on the only flight that will get me to Alaska on time. So this is it. We finally arrived in the small town of King Salmon. A sense of relief and excitement washes over me as I walk through the small town to our hotel room to meet up with my buddy Nate, where I can finally relax and prep for the exciting camping trip that lies ahead. There is nothing like a shower after 30 hours of flying, which was just miserable. You can see I got comfortable and unpacked while Nate's side all nice and clean. He's the organized one. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally recording this again. Nate's laughing over here at me. There's his mess. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the mics and trying to turn a tripod is the worst. We're gonna go get some drinks, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we literally were just getting ready to go to bed because we have to fly out at six in the morning on our float plane. And Nate got a text on our very limited one gigabyte Wi-Fi, right? Mm -hmm. That uh, we got canceled on. So we're trying to figure that out because uh, the whole trip was planned around this and Nate confirmed it. So like, what the hell? After coming all this way and getting canceled on, we desperately scrambled to try and find some kind of communication as to why our flight was canceled. After making several calls around town, someone was finally able to get in touch with the company owner just to tell us that the flights were canceled due to bad weather. We decided that we would wake up early the next morning to follow up and see if weather was still grounding our aircraft. At the time of our scheduled flight, we hear and see our float plane take off. Our flight had been sold to somebody else. It was hard not to feel defeated in this moment, and it was truly a fight to complete this last leg of the journey. But after an hour or so, we were able to get on the next plane, and very quickly our excitement returns to us.
After everything we had to endure to get to this moment, Katmai rewards us with a beautiful 2 a.m. sunset. Early the next morning, we make our hike from camp to Brooks Falls. Where on the trail, we see a mother bear and her two cubs doing the same. We decide to give a good amount of time for the mother and her cubs to get ahead before we continue onto the trail, making our way to the observation area. And as we're hiking around in bear country, we're especially mindful to keep our conversations loud, occasionally clapping and shouting out the, hey bear, as to not surprise any bears that might be on the trail with us. Now with us finally having made it, we spend the rest of our trip filming and photographing these amazing bears. After everything that it took to get here, I wanted to share some of the beautiful imagery that we were able to capture. And from this point on, this video is pretty much just going to be beautiful bear footage that we captured. Now I know this might be unbearable for some of you, but I feel this wasting away on my hard drive is pointless. So I wanted to share out some of this beautiful footage and if you enjoy it, consider liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel as more of these travel videos, I don't know what kind of style this would be, will be coming to this channel. I've kind of set a new goal for myself and that is to see every single national park in the US. And I think if I can capture it like we did maybe our Yosemite video or sorta like this one. This one I, I realize after the fact, I wish I had filmed a lot more of Katmai itself and I wish I had had more time here. So this might be a park that I come back and revisit, but I want to capture the footage and, and share just how beautiful and easily accessible some nature and travel can be. I think a lot of people, when they see nature and stuff like this, they have these expectations that it's going to be either grander than it is or more inaccessible and maybe they're afraid of having an experience like I had with this whole journey but honestly I think we overthink it and there's something really important about getting out to nature and resetting that everybody could benefit from and that's the whole point of Explore Travel Capture is to share our, our joy and our experiences going out into nature. It doesn't need to be some big epic journey. Just local camping can be great too. And hopefully we can explore that more. Hopefully you guys enjoy this beautiful bear footage. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And if you made it this far in this video, thank you. Thank you for letting me share this journey with you, and I appreciate you.
Thank you.